it's Presley at actoutgames.com here and today is Halloween and also we're going to be having an unexpected Steve Spangler extravaganza. The first Steve Spangler Science Kit was so, so fun. We decided we would get another one and try it out. But this is a Steve Spangler extravaganza because some other unexpected Steve Spangler stuff happened today. But I'll tell you about that later. So let's start with the kit that we got. And this one is called Slick Tricks. So this kit uses one of my dad's absolute favorite quotes called Clark's Law, which is any sufficiently complicated technology will be indistinguishable from magic. And in this case, it is and any sufficiently complicated science will be indistinguishable from magic. So we get to do magic tricks with science, which is really, really cool. So like last time, I'm just going to show you a couple of these tricks. So you're going to have to get the whole kit if you want to see all of them. There is nine of them, but we're only going to show you a few. So let's check out the first trick. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottle and that is filled with water and it says six science on it, which is really cool. So I might drink out of that bottle when we're not doing science. And I'm going to take one of my business cards and I'm going to put it on top of the bottle and flip the bottle over and remove my hand. What would you think would happen? Probably that it's, this is just gonna fall off and all the water's gonna pour out. Well, watch and see. So, just to make sure, just to tell you guys this isn't a trick, I will take away the business card and all the water will fall out. So that is like magic. As we know, it's not magic, it is science. So let's talk about how it works. So how it works, there are three forces that keep this th that make this way thing work. And the forces are cohesion, adhesion, and air pressure. So what's happening is once I push the business card on, it, the air is actually pushing on it and it's pushing on everything. You just don't really feel it very much. But it's pushing on the business card and it's pushing it in all directions here, so it's kind of keeping it still. But when we turn it over, it's pushing down on where the business card is exposed, and it's pushing up all around the bottom. So it's pushing up more on the bottom than it is on here because the bottle is covering some of the water. So it's put, so the air is keeping it in place because it's pushing more up than down. So of course, if without the water, this would not work. I would just do like this. This card falls. And that's because of this wonderful force called cohesion and adhesion. So this is another reason why water is the coolest substance on the planet. It is amazingly cool. And cohesion is because of the hydrogen bonds. It's all sticking together. And that is, and then it's using adhesion and it's sticking perfectly to the card. So it's letting absolutely no air get into the bottle. So the, but the air wants to get in the bottle and push it down and without the waters, cohesion, adhesion, the business card just falls off because the air gets in the bottle and pushes it and pushes the card down. So that's why it works and it's really, really sick science. So we're going to take it to the next level and I'm going to show you how strong Rotter's cohesion properties really are. So we're going to do the exact same thing, but without the business card. So it's going to be really hard to do it with this really big hole on top. So we've got this special cap with a small hole on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cap on the bottom. I'm going to plug this hole with my finger, flip it over, and the cohesion is strong enough. It is keeping all the water from falling out of the bottle. Of course, we break the cohesion by like shaking it a little bit or poking it. It's going to fall. There's just going to be a little bit of water that falls out though because the cohesion bond will form again. And this is really, really cool. And I am seeing a lot of my friends today. So I'm definitely going to pull this trick on them and it's gonna be fun. So the cohesion kind of forms a film around it. So it's like there's a business card there, 
but it's actually just made out of water and cohesion and it's absolutely crazy. So it's doing the same thing, air pressure is pushing up, but it's pushing against the surface pressure of the water. So, but, and cohesion is just so perfect that no air gets into the bottle and pushes out all of the water. So we're gonna wrap it up again and I'm going to show you the one of the coolest experiments I've ever seen in my life is I'm going to flip it over yet again and you can even poke a hole with a toothpick in there and it still won't fall out. So, f so watch this. So when you touch it with the toothpick, the water adheres to the toothpick, and then when the toothpick starts go trying to float up, it the cohesion just forms again really, really quickly, and we have about 10 of these, I believe, and no matter how many you put in, they will float all the way up to the top, and no water will fall out, which is absolutely crazy. And just to prove it's a cool thing about water and not just any liquid, we're going to do the exact same experiment, just with rubbing alcohol instead of water and hopefully it won't work. If it does work, then lots of science have changed. It's not working. Thank goodness lots of science haven't changed. So it's water that's polar and has all this cool bonding stuff. So that's why it only works with water and that's why water is so, so cool because it only works, this experiment only works, specifically only works with water. We've we, if we try it with rubbing alcohol, it doesn't work. It's the cool thing about water that lets this happen. Alcohol is not polar like water is, so it doesn't form hydrogen bonds, so the cohesion isn't as strong as water is, so it all just pours out of the bottle. So that's just a taste of the Slick Trick Sick Science Kit. It is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend you buy one for your own and check out all of these tricks in there. But this was just what we're going to do our vlog on. But like I said, there were a few Steve Spangler related surprises that have gone on. So the first one is Steve Spangler was on TV and he made this fake blood, which was really cool for Halloween. So we decided why not use it for my Halloween costume because there's definitely somewhere it can fit in. So we just had to try it. So this is what the blood was. So what we used in our fake blood is Cairo corn syrup, cornstarch, food coloring, and a cup of coffee. So really this goes back and forth in the blender over and over again. So if it gets too rummy, you add cornstarch. If it gets too thick, you add coffee, and you just adjust the colors a lot, and so on and so on until you've got your perfect fake blood. And you sift it out by putting it on a paper towel or your arm to see if it looks like real blood. Luckily, we are a very injury prone family, so we know what bloods look like, so we can test it out really well. I used to do a lot of this stuff uh, in high school and college. He got uh, you kicked out of a few classes. He got me kicked out of a few classes because I was wearing really disgusting makeup. Mm -hmm. um, I was a huge fan of a guy named Tom Savini. If you don't know who that is, you should probably look him up and check out. He's one of the greatest special effects artists that ever walked the earth. Mm -hmm. um, and so I used to look and research like his blood recipe and how he did his special effects and stuff. And we're just gonna do something really simple for you, just to take a look at it, right? So I bought this liquid latex. Um, I got this from a craft store. Uh, you can get it lots of places. Um, it's not hard to track down, but just liquid rubber latex. Uh, some people have allergies to latex, so be careful. Um, test it out maybe and see if your skin reacts to it or not. I don't uh, think you have an allergy to latex. I don't think you have an allergy to latex. So we're just gonna put a little bit on Presley's arm and then uh, kind of bubble it up to make it look like a burn a little bit, like blisters, and then put some of the blood that we made on it. And I think it'll make a pretty cool effect, but let's check it out. <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on her arm here and then we're going to let it dry. It's like cinnamon butter. Okay, so you can see it's dried here and it's all clear. There were a couple of thicker pieces here that haven't quite dried yet, but that's fine. Actually, it's kind of cool when you mix it with the blood. They look a little like pus. It makes it kind of a cool effect, um, especially with a burn. But you can also see maybe it's a little shiny here. Uh, this is where you would use the makeup to cover it up a little bit if you, were gonna, if you weren't going to be covering it with blood or anything. But uh, all you have to do is kind of press your finger on and drag your finger across a little bit. That and it'll start weird. peeling like skin almost. So you can see that. That feels like peeling glue off of my arm and it feels it's so good. It's kind of like glue, right? So that 
basically makes a blister, like a, a blister just busted there. So you wanna make several of those. You can kind of make them different sizes. Uh, up here where you've got this kind of pussy stuff, it does a real cool kind of smear. So really, you just kind of want to break the skin apart. It's only slightly painful, but it, yeah. it's weird. So you start peeling some off. You start rolling up the edges a little bit. See, that one actually made a blister where the skin stayed intact, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. So I used to do the same effect on my face, and it made like a really cool Freddy Krueger-like effect. You know, you would really kind of roll some of these up and make them thicker and then kind of reapply some of the latex and hit it again and again. But really, that's the gist of it. You just want to take that, and it starts looking like burnt skin. And let me grab a little bit of the blood. A little bit. We don't want to bloody up too much or it will look unrealistic. Be like bloody. Holy oh, crap, that blood looks more realistic than I expected. You can give it kind of a quick rub to get the whole thing. Again, this covers up some of the shiny that's in there. Dude, that looks... Okay, now my brain thinks it's painful there because of the fake blood. You can come back and how and gross it looks. It, it, you can actually drop it in a couple of the little oh. blisters mm. to make it look really good. My brain now thinks there is a terrible burn there. There's and not so terrible burn there, it's fake. Is the basics of making a quick little latex burn. Um, and then, hold on one taste. second. Does it taste, does it taste good? No. Grab the gauze real quick. So uh, another thing I used to do a lot of times at school and with my friends and stuff is I would just take like a little gauze and wrap it so that it looked like a fresh injury. Some of the blood will seep through and people will always ask you what happened to your arm and you sort of offer to show them and as you unfurl it you can see the blisters and nasty skin. It makes for a really cool effect when you show it off to your friends. Holy crap, that looked really weird. <laughs> so that's us doing the Steve Spangler fake blood, which worked really, really well. And then we thought that's what we're going to do on, the, on our vlog, but then we checked our P.O. box and this happened. If you remember a few days ago when we posted a review of one of Steve Spangler's science kits, which had the Newton's bead and all of the popsicle sticks that went flying up, and he saw it and he liked it so the next week this came in my P.O. box so let's see what we got from Steve Spangler Open. We, got we got some books so we have the Steve Spangler fire bubbles and exploding toothpaste that's cool and this one was as seen on the Ellen show so these are, and oh, they have more. They have, in this book, they have floating bowling balls, which we do have bowling balls, like, really close to us. Um, pop bottle music, bouncing smoke bubbles, walking on eggshells, bouncing nails, a fireproof balloon, a skateboard rocket car, and this seems really, really cool. And on the, I just found out on the inside, it is signed by Steve Spangler, which is really, really cool. Oh, and it says, Presley, have fun making a huge mess, Steve Spangler. And we have another book called Unforging Experiments That Make Science Fun. Naked eggs, naked eggs and flying potatoes. And they have really cool stuff. They, these are really, really, really cool. This is another see, as seen on the Ellen show. And this one is also signed. Presley, I'm your biggest YouTube fan. Keep up the great reviews. Steve Spangler. That's amazing. So we're going to have fun doing all the experiments in these books, which is going to be super duper duper fun doing all of these experiments. And I just want to try them all now like immediately. Thank you so, 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 so much, Steve Spangler, for sending me these really cool books, and I am super excited to try out all these experiments. As you can tell, it was a very, very Steve Spangler-y day. It, this was absolutely fun, and I love doing all the experiments. It was absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to do a ton more of them. So this made me think up my own version of Clark's Law. Any science sick enough will be indistinguishable from magic. 
so yeah, that was our very Steve Spangler day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.